No. And then we'll look at another game, which is actually similar enough in terms of mismatches. We have the All Blacks feet Tonga, uh, which is in Waikato Stadium, which is New Zealand's send off um, yes for the world home Cup. send off yeah um, home send off taking place this saturday irish time three thirty-five a.m thanks for that one boys lovely scheduling <laughs> well yeah sure that was that was the same when it was the new zealand world cup as well yeah, wasn't it? Yeah. it was all kinds of crazy hours afternoon um, game for them there um yeah. in waikato stadium um it's sort of the last hit out for both teams in the in, ahead of this world cup the all blacks We'll just be looking for this to be smooth sailing, for everything to be looking sharp and nice and lots and lots of tries. Yeah, and much the same just, as the goal for England as yeah, well against the Leafs. feeling just confident. Going, yeah. They have a different sort of vibe to England in the sense that they are straight up against an opening game, the yeah. spring box. Here we go. That's definitely um, true in terms of their development, what they're looking to, to do. So with yeah. that in mind, would you, like, they may name close to a, stra- a starting side I would to, sus- to get that hit yeah, out. Yeah, I would suspect that they will. They, yeah. They're pretty... They don't tend to play games either in terms Not of much. like hiding guys like like Ireland do with Sexton. You don't yeah. see that from from the All Blacks. They'll Barrett will be there, yeah, and they'll they'll be looking to impose their will on the Tongans uh, both physically and just in terms of their running game. I think especially their running game, yeah. they're going to be keen to get it looking precisely sharp. sharp. Like if yeah. the Tongans knock it on in the contact in the midfield, All Blacks should be thinking tries, tries, tries. Yeah. Like it was a huge. It will be a huge confidence boost for them. What happened um, when they when they beat Australia and Bledisloe too, um, but they need to build on that because yeah. outside of that game, they have been less than assured with ball in hand, and yeah. they need to be against a tier two opposition who have struggled a lot this year. Mm-hmm. They need to be ruthless, yeah. uh, picking them apart, moving them around the pitch, and taking chances when they come definitely yeah like as far as the test is concerned obviously yes yeah, the springbok one is what they're they're have a mind towards as well what they'll be looking towards and tonga as far as like yes they are tier two obviously many rungs below but they're they're what they are is a big pack as well so yeah. it's like it's a similar from a new zealand's point of view tactically what they'll want to do like maybe they want you want to take the tongans on at their own game and but and like break them mentally mm. by getting at them scrum time mall time in the physicality and then going out wide yes, they, that could be the alternate route that would yeah. be that would be consistent with with what the all blacks have been doing true if but i would kind of i would kind of prefer to see them like rather than obviously knowing that they're probably capable probably more capable than tongue in that area anyway despite tongue being big the I, I'm, yeah exactly yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sure that they could go into that arm wrestle of a game and win it but just with the springbok test coming up i think it would behoove them more to be trying to target like flooding the outside of that 13 channel for one get their centers getting things off yeah because that's what they struggled with against the Springboks. They didn't they get anything. Get they couldn't get outside of Ambar. Yeah. One instance where they did, and that yeah. yielded a try for good hue. They'll want to see more of that. I want to see them trying to resource that area. Yeah, maybe getting just, a bit deeper, maybe getting a bit wider. Yeah, um, and let's just have our passing, the passing game be as crisp as it can yeah, be. Yeah. Um, that's something they haven't been as sharp in that area yeah. for quite a while. Yeah. Um, you go back to the Ireland game when they were pounding on the Irish line and they had an overlap and they didn't use it yeah those are the kind of things that you'll want to rectify they have their squad now and, and while they are physically up to the task and, and listen if they if they can revert to a sort of type wherein they are that ruthless all blacks then the sort of forward oriented experiment over the last couple of years could make sense in the sense that they can now stand up to all these packs that might have been otherwise ready to run over them but yeah. they also have that attacking game but they do need now to sh- more than ever to show String what together. they can do and yeah. attack and i think this game is, is going to be good for confidence in that way because the tongans don't defend like the south africans no they do not they don't get out of the line that they're much they're slow. going to get off forward space and time to the all black runners yeah. and give them a chance to 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 get some stuff going Definitely. so uh, yeah, you know, yeah. they will not want errors they will not want frustrating plays they'll just yeah. want it to be smooth absolutely uh, at set piece and with ball in hand and defensively just all smooth that's, that's one of the main ready. focuses i think for for all tier one sides this week uh, in terms of their warm games set piece will be massive for all of them they like don't want to see sloppy line out execution sloppy reset receipt or kick out kickoffs as yeah. well all these little things that are just coach killing will yeah. be very annoying to see they'll want to be absolutely polished and sharp particularly as you say new zealand and south africa as well because does they have their big big test in the first weekend yes. so that, that they kind of obviously have to be primed in a different way to a lot of other the other tier one sides as far as when they're peaking um so yeah no that i'd definitely be curious to see that it's it's a good hit out for their other their squad locks obviously again with with brody being yeah. out they're still kind of 
in a toss up land, I think all of them have. Uh, I think Chewie Pilato might be in my first toss up. I mean, my anyway. first, yeah, it's, it's just as far as I like for like in terms of that physicality, if you're yeah. missing Brody, he, he does bring that I think size. Keep Sam Whitelock for his experience. Maybe move Sam Whitelock to loose head lock, which would be, uh, you know, controversial, mm-hmm. and then have that impact that Scott Barrett can bring off the bench. Yeah, I think, I think. I think that makes a lot of sense yeah. to, my, to my to my reckoning anyway. Um, but it is a chance for all of those locks to put their hands up in advance of sure the big be, test yeah, as sure well. Because because um, like the Tongans are, are are pretty big in that area. Like yeah. in the pack, they are physically large, uh, obviously, and actually across the pitch, they've got some big. super rugby experience in there. So they do see and the like. Yeah. Um, in terms of what they're going to bring, obviously, when they're in, in a sort of a Georgian way, when they get down to business, they can slow things up and get a decent pick and go game going, which All Blacks don't usually love to defend against. But yeah. um, how yeah. they get, how they make that picture happen, is is the bigger question. Yeah, I haven't seen enough. Like watching them in the, in this year's Pacific Nations Cup, it was uh, just just a bit a bit annoying. Like they were obviously just lesser than all of their opponents on in terms of uh, it, well, ex- with the exception of Canada where they did get the win mm. but that's Canada are like nowhere near this level no, 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 no their halfbacks just haven't really been dictating enough their kicking game they do sometimes go to it but it's a bit loose they yeah. rarely kick to contest they, they're not the best at playing territory which is what they really should be playing given yeah. the fact that their their offence is based on, on a pick and go type game kind of like an Exeter multi-phase yeah. that they go through Um so yeah, it would be it would be good to see them get that kicking game a bit off, get a few a few territorial kicks in, and be able to pressure the All Blacks that way. It would also be good to just see them try with a little bit more pace and yeah. a little bit more offloading out of the contact. They, they have they have Islander blood in them. They they, do. they, they yeah. can play with ball in hand. They can hold and pass a rugby ball. Yeah, and yeah, I, th- I think I think you actually will see that. You will see them sort of primed athletes ready to go i mean i think they've 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 had their pacific nations cup which was a rinky dinky tournament mm-hmm. but the Tongans do have a way about them they do they they more than the samoans who we'll touch on in a moment they just have they rise to the world cup occasion they do not quite like anybody and even when they have no name a squad full of no name lads they do manage to put in performances and shift they do tend to be physically up for the challenge they do. and they do tend to get plays off they just yeah. seem focused and, and enjoying it and when they when they do their their war dance before games it is it is of all of them the most intense and, yeah. and they tend to back it up on the pitch they are uh, a very fun they're, they're watch. Never, you never can't sleep on them in a world yeah, cup in a world cup you can't uh, at all that being said, this is the last game before the world cup no indeed. and it's, and it's against in, all new new zealand. in new zealand um, so i suspect no, I'll just be looking to see them get some plays off. I That's it. Let's literally try. Like, even even if the offloading is loose and they end up getting punished for it, yeah. I would sooner see that because I think they need to be prime. They need to be bringing a bit of that yeah. uh, to the World Cup. Just, like, it's, it, it's a low bar. Just get some plays off, yeah. and we'll see how it goes. Defensive plays, offensive plays. See what you can get off yeah. against a very good All Black team in New Zealand. Mm-hmm. The result isn't important. We no. know it's going to go. It'd be nice if they could grab a try or two, though. Yeah, exactly. And it would be exactly. pretty pretty helpful for confidence. But uh, yeah, that being said, I, I think it's. Uh, all Blacks it's, it's, all it's day. pretty pretty much a clear cut uh, All Blacks win. Yes, and uh, yeah, well, like it'll be a good send off. It'll obviously be kind of nice, nice little yeah. way to say fairly well to the boys before they fly off to Japan. And uh, yeah, just a little little mention shout out to the the Rugby World Cup hype video that uh, Tonga put up on oh, Twitter yeah. the other day, which was pretty sweet, getting me yeah, buzzed for their re- chances, re- reminding us of, of what they can bring. Sometimes Indeed. The, yeah, the, yeah. The, the intangible factor that is the Tongan mentality yeah. is real. Ask France about it. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. So I suppose we'll, we'll move on. Then there's not much more to be said about that one. Thank you very much for watching that video. If it's your first time here, please leave a like and subscribe down below. And uh, yeah, leave a comment as well if you enjoyed it, because we enjoyed the conversation.